So we are going to operate a 14 year old girl today and she has got a lumbar scoliosis. So you can see this is the right side, this is the left side and this is the anteroposterior x-ray. And this is the lumbar curve. There is a coronal shift, there is a coronal decompensation and that's why she has a tilt towards the left side. So the plan is we are going to instrument L4, L3, L2, L1, T12 and T11 and after putting medical implants we are going to use a rod to correct that deformity. You can see this is a fulcrum bending x-ray and this is completely correctable. So this is a lateral x-ray and there is no kyphosis. So the only deformity that we have is a lumbar scoliosis. So this is the OAM that you are going to use. This is the intraoperative scanner through which we will scan the patient and transfer the images to navigation. So this is the stealth navigation. After acquiring images from the OAM, the images are transferred to this stealth navigation. So this is the one which we couple with the reference frame on the patient and start using the neuro navigation. So this is a spinal cord monitoring in which we monitor the sensory motor potentials which is the sensation as well as the motor power. So you can see these are the raw EMGs and these are the muscle EMGs. So the impulse from the brain is thrown and they are caught at the toes. So continuously during the surgery there is a monitoring of spinal cord impulses which goes on which makes this surgery safe. Thank you.